I had everything. I mean, I had money, I had, I had a great career, I had making great money, and, uh, but I just absolutely wasn't happy because why I was chasing money. And Dawn said, why don't you chase being happy rather than chase money? In a world where you can be anything, be an adjuster. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. Money doesn't buy you happiness, number one. It's not going to make you any happier. Um, you're not going to. One of the things that drove me to this business, and we've talked about this before, I was actually in healthcare and I was, I was uh, recruiting doctors in the healthcare networks. And um, Don and I had come back from a meeting one day. We were on our way back from a meeting, and Don says, "You know, hey, you know, it's." Great to watch you go to these things. These doctors listen to you and they talk to you and they listen to every word that you say. And, and, and it's amazing to watch, you know, and you're absolutely, you, you, you take on projects that other people abandon. I've never seen anybody can make money like you. She goes, but you really suck at being happy. You know, I had everything. I mean, I had money. I had, I had a great career. I had making great money. And, uh, but I just absolutely wasn't happy because why I was chasing money. And Dawn said, why don't you chase being happy rather than chase money? So I walked away from everything. I mean, I literally, within a couple of months, I walked away from everything that I was working on and started down this path, which, you know, as we've discussed, eventually led me to driving a tow truck, you know, uh, as kind of a dare kind of thing, which I absolutely love, which ended up exposing me <laughs> to adjusting, which ended up, you know, because I ended up in Houston during Hurricane Harvey and came back from yeah. that. And that's when I made the decision that I was going to become an adjuster, you know, and, uh, and take my experience in insurance and, and policy knowledge and all that and construction and everything else I've ever done and, and go that direction. And, and so it wasn't about the money, making the six figures is not going to make you happy. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not going to make your life happier. Will it make certain things easier? Yes, it will. It absolutely makes a lot of things easier. You get to go on vacations. You get to go on, you know, you get to not worry about, um, you know, am I going to get the electricity turned off this month? You, you don't have to worry about those things as often, as long as you stay within your means. Um, what's it like? I mean, it's, 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 it is less stress, but it, should never be tied to your happiness. And that's, I mean, that's what it's, that's what it is for me. Do I ever stress out about yep. even where I'm at in my career today? Do I still stress out about income level and, and, uh, and consistency of income? I do. I mean, I absolutely do. Even though I make enough in six months sure. or less to pay my bills for the whole year, that's not the point because the biggest stress that you have about making money is continuing to make money. Is, is achieving that level. Right. And, yeah. And uh, in those ebbs and flows of your income, you know, some people can't handle that. Some people, I've been independent most of my life. And, and so you get used to the, that up and down, up and down, you know. Um, but as you get older, you start concentrating a little bit more on the on the solid income versus the, the craziness up and down a little bit. Right. But it, it, it makes life, it makes certain parts of your life a lot easier. But it it's not going to make, if you have other problems, it's not going to make those problems go away until you, until you figure out the cause of those problems. You know, throwing money at it doesn't make it go away. The government's proved that. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, and so. it, it's an interesting question. And, and uh, <clears throat> I, I think that, you know, the very first time I cleared uh, $100,000, like gross earnings in a year, um, I was pretty excited and I was, it was, it's a milestone, right? You feel, I mean, there, there's a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a, like a small euphoria celebration moment where you, you know, you pass that moment. Um, but I think, you know, having, I, I you look at money, it's, it's kind of like, um, in a way it's kind of like a, it's a resource, right? That, that, that helps you to do other things, right? So in one way, you know, being able to earn, and, and, and I think that this, to, to be totally fair, you know, the cost of living and all that stuff aside, if you're, if a person is able to live below their means, if they spend less than they earn, they can still have, I, I think, this kind of the same sort of like, you know, sense of well-being and, and security 
than if you're just making a lot of extra money, right? And you're not quite as strict with your spending, right? So in other words, if, if a person is uh, making $100,000 a year and their annual, their, maybe their, the tax knocks, we'll say $20,000 off of that, just as a number, and then you're spending, you know, $79,000 of that with, you know, because you're like, oh, I make six figures now, you know, and I pay my taxes, and I'm just going to like buy whatever I want, whatever I want to have, you know, a couple of car payments and all this kind of stuff. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 